Hello YouTube! Flashlight enthusiast here. Today I would like to show you something new on the channel. The first flashlight from Brynight. Uh, the manufacturer contacted me and asked me if I would like to show you guys uh, their new PT18 Pro Oath Keeper, which is actually the tactical flashlight with the thought of law enforcement, military and some other tactical enthusiasts. Uh, it is not cheap, but actually I wanted to test this one because it looked interesting. And uh, here it is, the new PT18 Pro Oath Keeper. So without further ado, let's look at the box here. Uh, we've got some international standard specifications. So I remind you, it should be over 2000 lumens after 30 seconds of operation. Also, this uh, range should be pretty accurate. And as you can see, we've got some drop resistance here. We've got uh, max runtime in the lowest mode here specified also. And water resistance to one meter. Uh, looks really good. All right, so let's see what we've got here. Uh, you can choose one of two versions. So you can choose black or desert tan. It features Creex HP 35 LED. Some tactical stuff. Uh, we also got some technical parameters here uh, so as you can see we've got four uh, modes of normal brightness and then strobe and SOS some key features and uh, description okay looks really nice I like it already Okay, so here inside we've got the very elegant uh, black cardboard box with uh, no engravings and uh, marks except for the Brynite logo. Okay, so let's open this up. Not that easy to open. Okay, so um, yeah, we've got some bunch of leaflets and some instructions manual. Uh, I also got this wristband with Brynight logo. Very nice addition, thank you for that. We've got a charging cable, which is proprietary unfortunately, but on the other hand it should increase the waterproofness of the flashlight itself. The best thing about this set is probably uh, the holster. It looks really high quality with some additional pockets and apart from that we've got this nice military style I believe it's paracord lanyard with adjustable length and some metal attachments okay so if you ordered it with the battery you can get a spare one here apart from that uh, this is all Remember to remove the insulation foil for this time you use the flashlight. And the flashlight itself. Alright, so let's see how it fits the holster. Okay, so it fits like that. Even with the tactical ring there is a space here to accommodate this one. And here with the pockets you can uh, use some spare batteries or your Victorinox or something like that. A pen maybe. Uh, quality plastic attachment here. Uh, it is rotatable. Looks good. Alright, and obviously we've got some space here not to burn the, the holster when you accidentally turn the flashlight on, which is uh, well thought, yeah. Good job with the holster, Brian. Moving on to the flashlight, as you can see, it is in Desert Tan version. You can also order the black one. Uh, I have to say, I was surprised with the quality. Uh, this is definitely a high level of uh, machining and finish here. The localization is smooth without sharp edges whatsoever, uh, and it looks quite shiny, but on the other hand, uh, it has some grip to it. 
especially with this tactical ring that you can hold the flashlight like this one and operate this two switches as you can see we've got the main and for most but we also have the third switch here here we've got the charging port for this proprietary cable uh, what I was surprised with is actually no cooling fans on this design but uh, as you will see later it is justified by <laughs> one simple thing so everything in order uh, to access the battery you have to unscrew the tail because uh, in other places you actually cannot unscrew uh, or dismantle the, the flashlight anyway uh, here we've got uh, pretty thick threads as you can see they are greased so very nice I don't know why they are an anodized but uh, we may never know okay uh, in the set I got this IMR18650 battery with Bryanite logo uh, so yeah this one is protected as you can see we've got the protection circuit here uh, I suspect this is either Samsung 30Q or Sony VTC6 apart from that we've got a spring inside as you can see the double tube design the spring inside is quite thick well made and here we also have the spring so double spring uh, which is suitable for gun mount etc because of the shock recoil of the weapon <laughs> the flashlight could be disconnected if it features only one spring looks okay to me uh, the tactical ring can be removed and then you got this nice design tail cap but if you choose to have the tactical ring on it can be mounted either that way or that way so two options only here because apart from that we've got only two grooves here to, to fit and with it it can be easier to screw the tail cap down okay as you can see we also got the clip which is quite sturdy sits tight so no flaws here the flashlight features Cree XHP 35 HD so true performer unfortunately this one is cool white but I guess for efficiency and tactical applications it is even better because uh, the cool white emitters usually are quite more disorientating uh, to the opponent to your eyes to keep you more alert so in tactical situations I believe that cool white are actually justified so probably good choice here I've got the Brynite logo uh, the model here okay so let's go for the UI first so as I mentioned we've got two switches one main for momentary and uh, full brightness and then the other one for momentary strobe and then for mode changing okay so we've got uh, four modes as I mentioned in the beginning we've got uh, low medium high and turbo mode and then it goes in a loop obviously if you hold the mode switch you will go into the strobe and then when you press it down once again you return to the main loop and you can also uh, always uh, turn off the flashlight via the tail switch the main tail switch and uh, believe me or not but uh, it turns on every time in the turbo mode which is good for tactical uh, applications but on the other hand we also got this side switch which can be used to change modes all right so when you turn on the flashlight via this switch main switch on the tail you can either change modes one-handed with this tail switch second one or with the side switch so one click increases the brightness and goes back to the low mode you can also turn on the flashlight from the side switch 
then advance the modes, hold it to turn off. You can also access the lowest mode via the side switch, hold it from off, and there we go. As you can see, when you activate the side switch or the main switch, I believe also, we've got the battery indicator displayed here. So yeah, we've got the constant green, which is between 170%. Then we've got constant orange between 70 and 30%. Then we've got the constant red between 30 and 10%, and obviously blinking red or flashing red below 10%. So it reminds me of a uh, new Olight battery status indicator, same colors, uh, but a little bit different percentage. So yeah, very convenient, uh, very straightforward, definitely nice uh, to incorporate in the flashlight design, especially that uh, this indicator can also be seen when the flashlight is off uh, in a very dim light. I will show you just in a second. And this is the BLF Q8 switch LEDs. And here I've got the bright light switch LED displaying battery status. Isn't that cool? It's very dim, almost unnoticeable yet. You know exactly what's your battery power without turning on the flashlight. Pretty cool. Huh? Okay, so look at the run times here. Uh, this is definitely something that surprised me because uh, it is fully regulated output of the boost driver because of the Cree XHP35, which is 12 voltmeter. So as you can see, uh, about one minute in turbo mode without any problems, then it steps down to around 1500 lumens. So you will probably not even see or recognize the step down. And after another three minutes, so four minutes from on, uh, we've got the more pronounced step down to around 700 lumens and then we've got the full stabilization for around 1 hour and 20 minutes and the flashlight did not exceed 42 degrees which is pretty much uh, not getting hot uh, despite this uh, marking here that uh, it can get hot uh, in my testing I tested this uh, several times and uh, same results so uh, it is uh, justified why this flashlight does not feature any deep cooling fins because it does not have to. Uh, the thermal mass of the head is sufficient for heat dissipation. Uh, and I think 700 lumens is still a good output for a tactical flashlight. Uh, and if you need it, you can also uh, or always uh, reset the turbo mode. And looking at the high graph uh, here, we've got the full regulation of around. Uh, 400 lumens, 420 lumens for full 2 hours and 15 minutes uh, and here the flashlight did not exceed 32 degrees so even uh, running co uh, cooler than your body temperature uh, so definitely nice. Uh, my measurements are actually pretty close to those specified by the manufacturer so I believe my tests are correct. Another pleasant surprise was the charging. Although they do provide you with a proprietary charging cable, which is always something a little bit controversial, uh, after the initial tests I discovered that uh, it can actually charge your battery with the almost 2 amp rate, so quite uncommon for the proprietary chargers, and it's very convenient due to the magnetic attachment. So as you can see, it holds pretty well, charge the battery quite fast, uh, and you can always charge the battery inside a regular charger because it is not non-proprietary. So with my homemade kit I measured around 1.75 amps going into the battery via this proprietary cable and after 2 hours and 6 minutes the battery was already charged. So pretty nice, pretty nice move bright light. I wasn't suspecting that. Well made, well done. And obviously we also got the charging status indicator. So here it always shines blue but when you plug it in you get the LED under the switch, first orange, then red, and when it's charged it will indicate green. So overall very nice flashlight, so let's go to the forest and show you some beam shots. Brynite PT18 Pro.
look at the hotspot here quite intense also much light on the sides so not a crazy thrower but more a universal beam pattern very nice stroke mode is a bonus so low medium high turbo instant stroke turbo mode as you can see very nice spot and spell to it so perfect for tactical operations universal beam pattern and one hand operation via double tail switch so low medium high and turbo mode and stroke mode Okay guys, let's sum it up. Uh, thank you once again Brylight for sending me the sample for review. I really enjoyed reviewing this one uh, and I was pleasantly surprised because I didn't hear about this uh, PT-18 Pro earlier uh, and I was glad I could test it and prove that uh, even an unknown manufacturer can produce some quality uh, and well thought uh, design a tactical flashlight uh, that can not only look good but also perform very well. So definitely, if you like to check out their products, go to the store.com and uh, see some other models. Uh, I'm not sure about other, but uh, I can truly recommend this one to you if you're looking for a tactical flashlight with uh, cool light output, stabilization and external charging as optional, because uh, as you can see, the battery is not proprietary, so you can also uh, unscrew the head, uh, unscrew the tail switch, uh, unscrew the tail cap and recharge the battery inside your regular charger, so that's very nice. Uh, okay guys, so I think that's it, so thank you uh, for joining in. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video, if you have any questions for this flashlight or any other uh, general questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, as always guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.